to me. I need some help here. Yeah. Interloper, your presence blights. You disease. Interloper. I'm ready for some shut-eye. How about you? Do not think... Do not think us bereft of recourse. We've already dang near killed you, you dumb eyeball. Purify. 
everything in its place. The moist... see you there like stars across the night sky the darkness splits into a hundred hundred eyes of different shapes sizes and colors well we recognize you Barrett's Herald if we're not mistaken Oh, you. As delightful as ever. It's strange, though. We find that we were just not thinking about you for the first time in, well, in some time. Where exactly might you be? That does not seem at all correct. We are quite certain, or fairly certain at least, moderately certain, certainly, that we killed our terrestrial body just as we promised we would. Not that we're above the occasional bent truth. But we don't recall not killing our body. And that really seems the sort of thing that we'd remember. We do enjoy our eyes. The eyes of others, too. Hmm. We wonder if the Lady of Lament may be having a spot of fun with us. We didn't think the old fish had it in her. Absence of evidence provides no evidence of absence. No, this hardly seems her style. We suspect she'd have simply sent this place to the bottom of the sea. Perhaps, though, no, surely not. But, but what if? Well, it certainly would delight us. Perhaps, dear Harold, we hid our body from ourselves. How terribly perverse of us. <laughs> and thoroughly irresponsible. When we hide something from ourselves, we hide it from the world. The world forgets about it. It forgets about itself. And how are you feeling, dear Herald of Bereth? Sounds... Hmm, ticklish? But now we're left with a conundrum. What to do? What to do with this overgrown sack of me? And 
expose our inscrutable quintessence to that zealot's light? No, we should almost certainly take the old beast behind the metaphorical shed and kill it, obviously. We did agree, after all. We wouldn't want Wodica to turn all... Wodica. Again. The oracle through whom you commune with us serves as the body's brain, so to speak. Slay it when you return, and all will unfold as you dictated. Wild's eyes close and are gone. Your stomach lurches as the ground disappears from under you. And with a sensation like a pop somewhere deep within the recesses of your mind, you plummet back into your physical body. The air cloys at your skin, humid and warm. I'm glad to see you return to us with all your faculties intact. I thought about stabbing it in, well, the eye, I guess, while you were taking that nap, but... Well, what if you were inside it or something? You... communed with the obscured. I'll put this to good use. I'm here. Nice and quiet.
You're, you're back! And a bit more alive than I anticipated. You've got some gore on you. It's just awful. Uh, really, here, let me help. Welcome back. You've returned in one piece. Do you hear that? Silence. Beautiful silence. Wal's titan form is dead, and it's your doing. We no longer need fear whatever destruction it may have rained upon Aora. Well done. I'll miss it. The shadow of Wal's horrible body has been like a second home. We could have learned so much. Now we're leaving it to rot. I'm sure you're right. As always, I just need some time with my grief. What do you plan to do next? What? All three pieces? That's tremendous news. May I see it? I will use it to grow an appropriate vessel for Lengrath. Not a titan. Something that may house the shards of Lengrath that Wells stole from me. My mentor deserves that much at least. Certainly not an eternity trapped between the pages of a book. Watcher, thank you. Sincerely, I... Now I'm able to give my mentor the reincarnation he deserves. You can't know what this means to me. All the same, please, take this with my thanks. It rewards you against hostile spells. It's the least I can do for the momentous gift you've given me. What do you plan to do next? Enjoy yourself. You deserve a reprieve, whatever comes after this. If we don't see each other again, take care. Meeting you was a unique pleasure I won't soon forget. Oh, you discovered the Circle's favorite crank in the collections. What a curious turn this has all taken. Very well. <laughs>